rejoicing in righteousness. Love does not rejoice in unrighteousness. Found in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 6. Love never justifies sin. To most Christians, the idea of rejoicing over unrighteousness is repulsive because it suggests enjoying deliberate sin. We've seen sin's tragic effects on mankind and know how it offends God. So how could we even rejoice in such a thing? But rejoicing in unrighteousness includes any attempt to justify sin in your own life or the lives of others. So it can be a very subtle thing. There are many ways to rejoice in unrighteousness. One is to exchange right from wrong. That's what the prophet Isaiah condemned when saying, Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who substitute darkness for light and light for darkness, found in Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. In our society, for example, virtues such as virginity and fidelity in marriage are branded as old-fashioned and prudish, while promiscuity and adultery are heralded as contemporary and liberating. Social pressures can cause undiscerning, weak Christians to yield to confused and godless moral standards. Another way to rejoice in unrighteousness is to be undiscerning about what you expose yourself to. The humanistic philosophies and blatant immorality of our society can quickly dull your moral and spiritual senses. Therefore, you must carefully evaluate what you read, view, and listen to. Do they denigate? Do they exalt violence, crime, immorality, slander, and the like? If so, and you find them entertaining, you are rejoicing in sin. Some believers actually do rejoice over the sins of others. That's what Jonah did when he refused to preach at Nineveh for the fear the people would repent and God would forgive them. He preferred to see them continue in sin rather than to reconcile with God. The attitude is not so far removed from today as we'd like to think. I've known professing Christians who wanted out of the marriages so badly that they hoped their spouses could commit adultery so they would feel justified in getting a divorce. What a convoluted perspective. True love cannot rejoice in sin, but glorifies whenever righteousness prevails. If you love God, the things that please him will please you, and the things that offend him will offend you. Let that always be your standard. Ask God for the grace to live a life that pleases him. Amen. God bless you. Until next time.